Hey, this is Hunter back in the Dunlop Racket Lab for another do-it-yourself video, and today I'm gonna to teach you the way that I like to add an overgrip to my racket. Okay, so let's get started installing an overgrip. First thing you do is obviously take it out of the package, and then what I like to do is I, I take this rubber grip band and move it up a little bit because it'll be in the way as you finish up installing your grip. Put the racket down, take your single grip out of the pack, undo the small tape roll here, put it aside for a minute. I like to use a table just to keep everything in front of me. Unfurl the grip, come back down to the end and you'll notice there's a small adhesive piece here. That is meant to go at the bottom of the handle. Remove the protective uh, piece of paper from the adhesive side. And just make sure that when you stretch the grip out before you put it on, you can see the logo and it would be reading correctly if you were holding the racket up. So then I hold the racket here with the handle facing upwards, take the adhesive piece, plant it on the side of one side of the racket, and then immediately start to stretch and wind it. And I use my finger and my thumb as I go to keep pressure on the grip. And a lot of people will ask, well, how much, how tight do you want to stretch this grip? It's completely up to you. Um, you know, I prefer a pretty firm stretch, but you don't want to pull it so tight that the, the, the grip becomes thin. Another thing to focus on is the overlap on each layer. Be very careful not to overlap too much, but overlap enough to where that in play, the, the grip will not start to separate between the different levels of grip as you go up. Um, if, if there's not enough overlap, you risk the separation. If there's too much, you can potentially make the grip feel too big in your hand. Now as you get to the top, you just keep turning and you'll notice we're getting to the top of the handle here. What I do is I take my thumb, place it there, and then usually what I'll do is if I'm already at the top, I'll back it down just one, keeping the tension on it. Put my thumb on the other side, get out my handy scissors here. Again, always keeping as much tension on the grip as you can. And then I come and I start on the bottom side of the grip with my scissors, make sure they're good and sharp. And I just cut at an angle, a relatively long angle. Okay, and it may come a little bit loose, but all you've got to do, back it down just a little bit, pull it tight again, wind it around, and lose it. <laughs> wind it around until it reaches the top. Now you've got this nice pretty angle where you can finish it off here at the top. Just like that. Hold it again with your thumb. This tape will also have a piece of, it, of protective paper. Take your, take your grip. Again, make sure that the, the logo or brand that you're using is facing in the way that you can read it properly. And just wrap it tightly around the very top of the grip to hold it in place. It should go around two or three times. Fasten it to itself there at the top. Then all you've got to do is move your rubber grip band right there to hold everything perfectly in place. And if you don't have a rubber grip band, it's not that big a deal. And you're good to go.